Hey guys, so today I just wanted to um, show a video about the horde mechanic in the game, the front, and how it works, and some troubleshooting to try and help you with uh, the problems that some people are having. So the the basics to this is that you have a, your beacon and your creature lore, and you're going to request supplies from your beacon to be brought down to you. So it's going to be like ether shards, blueprint packs, supply packs. The rewards get better as you go up. And so what will happen is you're going to come to the beacon and you're going to hit receive. And when you do that, it's going to say kill the intruders and protect the beacon. And what's going to happen is it's going to spawn these um, NPCs into your world and they're going to try to attack the beacon now. These guys are level one, so they're very easy. The first few levels, one through four, five, six, you could probably do it with basic gear without any of the, the building pieces that I have in traps. But when you start getting to the higher levels, it's gonna get a lot harder. Um, one thing that I see people do incorrectly when, when I see the pictures or the videos of their, uh, their maze, like what I've made, they put their beacon down surrounded by foundations. Because the beacon's on the ground, the NPCs will not see a path to that beacon. So it's a re really simple fix to fix this. You just place stairs down, connect to the beacon, about a foundation away, because if you put them right up against the beacon, a lot of times it'll create a path issue as well. Also, the other issue that I've noticed is that if you put your foundations too close to the ground level, Sometimes the NPCs will think that um, they have a path onto those foundations and they'll just start attacking your walls and stuff. Um, do not use doors. Doors cause them to not path. Um, if you're playing on a PvP server, it makes it a little rougher because of course you want to keep your beacon protected. So I actually play on a PvP server, so the way I do it is I just um, build things around the beacon when we're not using it. When we use it, we tear it down, we, we do our waves. We rebuild it. It's it's very tedious, but it works for our situation. Um, as the waves get harder, um, you're going to need to put more traps if you do the maze like, like I've done here. This is very simple, but you can make it a lot bigger, have a lot more of these lanes for them to come down with different traps to damage them. And also with you shooting them or, um, you know, whatever however you decide to do damage. Um, once you finish your your wave from your supply beacon, you're going to get a timer up in the top left-hand corner. Mine's really long because of a server setting. Yours won't be that long. But once you finish, you go up to the beacon and um, you hit F on it to open it. And once you do that, or excuse me, you hit E on it. And I apologize. Hit claim and that's, that'll give you your rewards for the mission that you did. And then you'll be able to go to the next level. Um, after the one that you did before. So if you did round one, you'll go to round two, so on and so forth, you get better rewards. When the timer ends, you can do it again, and you should get your rewards at that point. So um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the, the waves get harder, the rewards get better, and you just make a trap maze and um, let it take care of it. One other thing, ceilings sometimes also sit, seem to cause a problem. I don't know why, but sometimes when you put ceilings on it, it may be because of the birds. When you get to the higher levels, it does spawn birds. And I think that if they feel like they don't have a path, it can cause it to be obstructed. And, and it'll tell you a lot of times, you know, if it's obstructed, but sometimes it doesn't. And then what will happen is they'll spawn here and they'll just come over to the corner and start beating the corner of your foundation. Or they'll come over to your stairs and just start beating the corner of your stairs. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys find this helpful and, and to solve a lot of the issues. Thanks for watching.